mad article in it. Where is this one? Is that one? That's the one, right? Is it that one? Overture, that one, NASA. Yeah, this is the one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, where do I have the article? That one, this one, yeah. This is a fairly wild article. This is courtesy of Forbes magazine, right? This is absolutely nutty stuff. <laughs> So, courtesy of Forbes, it says the following. Apple employees wrote a letter to CEO Tim Cook saying that they do not want to return to the office. <laughs> right? Oh, the entitlement is just absolutely startling, isn't it? It says here, yeah, following uh, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, told his global workforce of 100 and f 137 137, no, 137, no, was it? Yeah, 137,000 employees that they had to return to the office beginning the early September, right? Which seems pretty reasonable to me. Expect He expected that employees will spend at least three days a week at the office and the other two to work remotely or from home. Not everyone was happy about this decision. Um, in an open letter to Tim Cook, about 80 employees, 80 of the 137 employees somehow managed to get Apple to stop in their tracks. Like, that is just wild. Um, according to The Verge, uh, voiced their displeasure in being told to return to work, stating, we would like to, uh, we feel like the current policy is not sufficient in addressing many of our needs. The letter pointed out that the workers delivered the same quality and products or services that Apple is known for, all the while working almost completely remotely. Now, of course, that... I, I, I I think I have some sympathy towards this. I'm a big um, proponent of um, what's his name uh, Gerber's book, uh, Bullshit Jobs. I've obviously have had some very strong views and opinions when it comes to working from home and you know the pre the kind of um, reluctance of companies to allow employees to work from home and sometimes the reasons are a bit you know loose and not really you know kind of fought out that well in that regard and. Um, of course, with COVID, we've had to spend a prolonged period of time working from home. And I think a lot of people, myself included, have maybe changed their tune in terms of working from home and the need to maybe have that kind of balance of separating your home life from your work life. I think that sometimes the working from home thing can kind of lead to people becoming a little bit, you know, maybe encumbered to their work, maybe having no real delineation between home and work. Um, you know, sometimes all the concentration levels, whatever it may be called, there is a definitely a place for people having a split in terms of where they sort of work day to day. But it's also, I see the importance of the ability to have people all in one building, kind of, you know, pulling in the same direction, aiming towards the same goal. I definitely see that appeal now. I think prior, if you would have told me in 2019 that, you know, I'd live in a world where people were just not allowed to work from home at all, I'll be kicking and screaming about it. But nowadays, I kind of get it. It's quite nice to have a bit of a change of scenario scenario a change of scenery is quite nice to maybe go into the office and see your colleagues it's quite nice to have like team meetings seeing people face to face and having to talk to them over zoom it just makes for a far better cohesive co-working co-working or you know whatever environment it may be called and for some reason i would imagine working at apple will be one of the best places to be working in the office right then their kind of new um locations they have is it in cupertino wherever it may be it looks amazing it looks like a flipping spaceship right and supposedly i've read that the lunches are free right fully catered in there which obviously is a great thing because it allows you to save some money on some of your lunches and healthy options all that malarkey they've got great open white spaces the ability to work from legitimately anywhere across the campus like it's a really really great space so do you imagine if there's ever a place where you'd want to work to your office that would be it it's like the you know it's not a we work studio right it's an absolutely you know, Apple's um, optimized place of work that kind of is there to bring out the best in their employees, allow them to kind of bring their best foot forward and, you know, pr pr produce the best level of work that they can. But for some reason, 80 employees fought, you know, fought better than some of the head home shows over there. It's just wild. And they managed to stop them in their tracks, which is crazy. It says, yeah, the future of work will see battles between companies and the employees. CEOs may uh, contend that it is easier to manage people if they are all herded in one or several central locations. Employees have different agendas. They want to have the work-life balance. A two-hour road trip commute becomes debilitating over time after spending quality time with loved ones. Uh, being responsible for where and when they work, it's hard to comprehend losing this autonomy, which is true, kind of, but the you know coming into work a couple of days per week is not that difficult. I think most people that do like freelancing sort of like contracting kind of work or jobs have to do that anyway during the week whether it's kind of client meetings catch-ups and briefs it's quite beneficial to do that stuff sort of face-to-face -face and you know like 
maybe the bad maybe two days a week is not enough but there's definitely needs to be some level of a split but for deciding to work completely from home forever will work for some companies but maybe won't work for others and i think it should be before it should be for the company's discretion but it also shouldn't be a given it shouldn't just be something you just expect to walk into every single company and have that option i think what should be a win i think in my opinion the win really should be that most companies are offering the ability to work from home because I've worked in many companies where you know the ability to work from home was like a privilege was like something you had to book in advance something you had to kind of work up to and have like a good week a good quarter of like good performance levels before you even kind of broach the topic but nowadays they're providing it to everybody and as long as you kind of prove that you're autonomous and you can work you know to a good level and standard when you're at home as you are in the office then never is going to leave you alone and that's really the win this idea that every company is going to be willing and able to allow people to work from home is just really really far-fetched and really delusional um and also it's a bit too entitled like if you really want to work like that go set up your own company uh, i don't know that's what i think um it says yeah there was a concern for losing talent due to the requirement of going back to the office it says apple's remote um f- remote slash location flexible works policy and the communication around it have already been have already forced some of our colleagues to quit imagine quitting an apple job because they're not letting you work from home people are insane it says it forces people to choose between either a combination of our families and our well-being and being empowered to do our best work and being part of the apple mate they're making it this is this goes back to that article that um the, the head ceo of shopify said where he said we're not a family we're a sports team right this idea that you're a family and we have to do right by you is just nonsense we do right by our best employees maybe show that you're worth kind of investing and giving the ability to work from home remotely full-time and we'll do it for you innit? like um, the employees who don't want to return to work um to return to an office setting are part of a larger dissenting movement according to a recent survey by morning console on behalf of bloomberg news nearly 40 percent of respondents said that they'd consider quitting their jobs if they weren't offered a um, reflexible yeah but see that's a bad stat this is a bad example it said nearly 40 percent of respondents said that they would consider quitting their jobs if they weren't offered remote flexibility which means flexibility i don't think anyone's saying they expect to work permanently from home which is what the apple employees are basically saying that's a completely different thing they have the ability to off to work remotely flexibly is definitely important if you've got like a young family and stuff it'll be it'll be nice to have a couple of days a week that you can be able to take your kid to work and we take a kid to school in the morning or i'll pick them up whatever then maybe that would be beneficial but expecting every office to allow you to work from home permanently forever is just wild uh so there over the last year we often felt that we often felt not just unheard but at times actively ignored <laughs> messages like we know many of you are eager to reconnect in person with your colleagues back in the office with no messaging acknowledging that there are directly contradicting feelings amongst us feels dismissive and invalidating the letter said yo these these apple employees are mad in it they managed to get who's that guy they managed to get the author of chaos monkeys right he had a some guy that read a book called chaos monkeys that i read a while back ago he was supposed to be offered some sort of advertising role at apple somehow the employees heard about this and managed to get his job rescinded right so he basically got hired and then sacked before he started which is then eventually going to lead to apple having to pay him a settlement i'm sure for sort of like um what's that word called uh unfair dismissal i'm sure he's gonna be you know, he's gonna get a fat paycheck from it so the apple employees have cost um them already you know as a company 10 million dollars plus i'm assuming you probably get from that settlement then on top of this all this bad pr about not working from home and remotely it's just like what and i think what what's that like the i'd imagine what's like the starting salary of people that work at that main you know head office in um san francisco where they are in la san francisco i think san francisco wherever it is that apple that new apple location what's the starting salary maybe 150k maybe a hundred thousand dollars and you can't come into work a couple of days a week like people are mate i don't know man. some people when they have it good they just don't know in it it says yeah um there have been a few high profile instances of ceos being looked too heavy-handed in the approach we work ceo sandeep matari attempted to rally return to office campaign again as a cringy tone deaf matari intimated that the best brightest and most motivated people will go back to office <laughs> losers however will stay home <laughs> okay that's a bit much those who are uberly engaged with the company want to go to the office two thirds of the time he said those who are least engaged are very comfortable working from home that doesn't make any sense that's not about engagement um he said that the wall street journal's future of everything festival um matt matt harani so this this new ceo is just just as loopy as the founder in it right it's good to see people are happier when they work 
uh, bigger issues to do your work five days a week or to do your work for three days a week there's a bigger issue there's no issue of not coming to a common place yeah I think he's talking a bit crap there Kathy Murrow CEO of Washington DC based magazine the Washingtonia wrote a tone deaf op-ed piece of Washington Post saying while some employees might like to continue to work from home and in popping only when necessary their presence executive that that presents executives with a tempting economic option that the employees might not like she obviously said that if the employee is rarely around the office then there is a strong incentive to change the status of the contractor Merrill seemingly threatened that if her staff didn't return to the office that she'd run the risk of being demoted and losing their full-time permanent employment status that is wild some of the employment laws in the US though how they can even allow that to be a conversation is crazy right just because you decide to go from home a couple of days a week you might get demoted <laughs> like what instead of receiving a net salary contractors are paid only for the work that they do either hourly or by appropriate output metrics wrote Merrill indicating a not so subtle threat to their livelihoods oh, I do. again that's obviously craziness right you don't want that okay what's up? Uh, uh, okay, this is what let's go. Let's continue what they said. Participants in the letter say that the following is not a petition, though it may resemble one. Rather, it is a plea for the company. Let's work together to create a more welcoming forward. It says we are formally requesting the Apple consider remote and location flexible work decisions to be autonomous for a team to decide as hiring decisions. Okay, so maybe not company wide. So each team basically decides if they want to have people remote or not fair understandable we are formally requesting a company-wide recur recurring short survey with clearly structured and transparent communication feedback process at the company-wide level organization-wide level and team-wide level covering topics listed below mate could you imagine steve jobs putting up with any of this stuff like the entitlement is just insane bruv and again I'm the, I'm the type of person that if i don't like something and i don't like a place where i'm working i'll just leave i don't really have a I care about working for cool places right like i said before the depot thing like cool cool job but i don't you know what i mean it's not my it's not mine so i'm not really you know uh i don't have this like sense of oh my god it's an amazing place i'm gonna stay you know despite if they're doing wrong by me but if everything is going well and they've generally got decent level people there they pay you on time and you feel like the work is inspiring you for this to really be a big of an issue it just it just seems a little bit unimportant really in the wider scheme of things especially when you consider the fact that you know most people a lot of people have been affected very negatively through covid some people have had no op option or no job to go back to they've had to kind of resort to doing other things that are kind of far less or far outside their skill set or maybe things that are really demeaning in terms of what level of work that they're doing and they're doing it in order to keep the lights on and you know be an adult and function in the world and these people have you know probably one of the most coveted jobs in the world working for one of those coveted companies in the, in the world and they're complaining that they have to work in the office a couple of days a week it's like jesus um we're formally requesting a question about employees churn due to remote work to be added to the exit interviews huh we are formally requesting transparent clear plan of action to accommodate disabilities via on-site remote hybrid and other location based work and we are formally requesting an insight into the environment to impact of returning to on-site person work <laughs> oh another country got stores environment how permanent remote and flexibility could affect to could offset that impact i don't know man imagine 81 employees causing this much of a kerfuffle over remote working out of the 100 and 300 what is that? 1370 i guess i guess to be fair to them though the 81 the 80 employees are only the ones willing to put their name on paper because i'm assuming some of them are fearing if they put their name on paper it's gonna really lead to them losing their jobs but i don't know man i think this is a bit entitled maybe i'm just in the minority here but I'd love to know your opinions on this. Would you be okay with working a couple of days per week at the Apple offices with free lunch, right? And, you know, great transportation links. I don't know if it has got to, well, let's just imagine a free laptop and all that malarkey. Or would you be pushing to work from home indefinitely? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know your opinion on that one.